Hey guys, there's been some requests for kind of like what's in your case and uh, I remember back when I was an avid golf player I always thought that it was really interesting to see what the other ones had in their golf bag. I haven't opened my Q case for uh, about 10 days, 2 weeks, so hopefully it's uh, nice and clean and tidy. Um, yeah, let's see what's in my case. So this is my case. It's a really sturdy case. Um, I have no issues, uh, you know, checking it in at the airport. Uh, I don't mind if it gets, you know, scratch. It's supposed to get a little bit of patina when you're traveling with it. And uh, it's not a super expensive case, so I, I don't mind. So let's see what's in here. Obviously, towel clean off my hands or you know clean off the shafts after I use them I try to clean them off uh, every time I'm done playing uh, and uh, let's see here so this is kind of like a sleeve um, it holds three butts so I've got you know my playing cue it's a uh, cue from Perry Got this one, and then I've got the uh, J fours from uh, J Flowers. It's uh, you know can't be beat for this price. Uh, it's three hundred and fifty dollars or something. This is actually embossed leather, the sport grip. So uh, I think, yeah, for that price, uh, it's a no-brainer. I really don't understand, you know, the other ones selling them for eight, nine hundred dollars. I don't get it. But anyway, uh, my jump cue. I'm using the. Uh, I'm using, you know, one third of the breaking jump from uh, from Jacoby, the blackout. I think that it's an awesome uh, jump cue. I'm playing with it now, you know, trying it out. Uh, I actually. My favorite one is the jump cue from J Flowers. It's not this is not a breaking jump, but it's a, I've got a separate jump cue from J Flowers that is actually my favorite. But um, you know the the Jacoby blackout jump cue part of the jump and break is uh, super awesome. And then uh, my sleeve holds four shafts. I've got uh, two playing shafts right now, J Flowers and. Um, the blackout from Jacoby, and uh, as backup, I've also got from uh, a playing shaft from uh, Go Customs, and obviously the uh, the brake shaft from J Flowers as well. Um, all right, two extensions. You know, I'm just a short little fellow, five eleven or whatever, so I I gotta use this. Um, yeah, let's see what's in the, the pockets. Oh wow. All right, I gotta clear out, get some, get some space here. I got a bunch of stuff here. So this is basically like tip tools. Why do you need this many? I don't know. It's just one of those things you keep buying, buying, buying. That looks nice. Oh, I gotta have one of those. Then you end up using, you know, just one or two. So this is like a really you, you really shape the tip with this. This is just sandpaper, you can change it. So you really shape the tip with this. It's, it's curved and it's really easy to work the tip with this. And I, I like to play with a super soft tip. So you gotta maintain it all the time. This is, it's got a little, you know, you just tap the tip to, to, to get the chalk to, you know, get off the tip and then you, Perhaps swipe it with this or any of the other 9 million tools I've got here. It's just a little sandpaper to scuff it a little bit. Yeah, this is, yeah, it's the same as the rest, but you know, you've got dime shaped and you know, this is flat. Just if you want to scuff it. Same thing here. Got two different, you got uh, two different scuffers. I like the dime shape. <laughs> Basically, this is the same. This is actually the tool I use the most because um, you know you can use this here. Uh, just 
just to give it a little tap. And then you can uh, shape it with this sandpaper. And then you kind of like stick the tip here and for the mushroom, you take care of that. And you stick it and yeah, you put some force to it. And then you twist it slowly and carefully around. And that takes care of the scuffing part. But yeah, another sand thing here. And this is the good old UFO, that's what I call it at least. Um, yeah. Uh, next pocket. Oh, okay. That's right. Oh, I believe in here. A couple, a couple of gloves. Uh, I really like the gloves from Barracuda. Uh, the one from uh, Go Custom is also good, but I like different colors depending on what kind of clothes I'm wearing. I sound like a dandy. Uh, something something but uh, you know I'm not but um, I like to have a couple of them uh, just joint protectors a million of them Let's see another secret pocket well it's not secret but yeah just to get you leave your coins or your watch or whatever and uh, really important Chalks, I've got the Kamui, which is my favorite, and then I've got the Taum. And uh, I'm also playing around with the Great White, and I'm looking at the Sniper uh, Chalk as well. Hmm. Anything else? Eh, I think that's it. Yeah, it might, sound, uh, it might seem uh, excessive, but um, I think that, you know, having more than one glove makes sense. Case one rips. Um, you don't need this many tip tools. Uh, if, I, if I had to pick one, I would pick this. There's a bunch of different uh, manufacturers of this. This one is extreme tip tool. Yeah, they're sold by Q and Case. Uh, yeah, this is definitely my favorite, and it's a versatile tool as well. You got, you know, two different tip shapes and uh, taking care of the uh, mushroom part here. It's nice. You also got a little sandpaper here. I don't know what you're supposed to do with that, but that's okay. So if I had to pick just one, it would be this one. Absolutely. But I also like, <laughs> also like these here. So. You know, but these ones, yeah, I can live without these three. But whenever I get a new tip, I really like to use this here. And I don't like having a lot of layers on my tip. So I don't mind changing tips, you know, every four, four months. I have no idea how people manage to, to have tips for a, a year or so. But anyway, uh, so yeah. That's it. Um, I've got another Q case as well. Uh, yeah, I can show it. Uh, hang on. This baby here. Uh, it's a real, you know, gem of a leather case from uh, J Flowers, but I, I'm really scared of using it. Uh, because, you know, it's really rugged and solid and everything, but I really don't want to get any scratches to it. I would definitely never take this on a, on a flight. Um, but it's a really nice case. Uh, it's about, I think, $1,500. So, you know, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this, but uh, I got it. And, I'm, you know, if, <laughs> if I want to impress somebody, perhaps I'll bring this <laughs> I don't know who that should be but anyway um, so yeah guys thanks for watching uh, I would really love it if you guys you made made a video or you know pictures and upload it in the comments that would be cool I know you can't see my face now but I'm here so anyway thanks for watching